for the weekend to come to your party. Sweet. Okay. Uh, um, yes, well, I, I, I've decided to pass on the party. Well, you can't pass on your party. We've got people coming, decorations, too. And that's how you dress. Beats the hell out of a bathrobe. Why don't you want to go to your party? Party? It's a sham. You know those people are my friends. Well, why would you think that? Believe it or not, Annie, your mother is a very sensitive woman, and I can feel when people around me know that I hate them. Why did you want us to throw the party in the first place? Well, why does anyone want a party? To feel superior while feigning humility. Don't touch that, Jay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The way you treat people is the way they treat you back. Uh-huh. Miserable bastard. <laughs> but putting that aside, you're getting a gold jacket today and you're... Your family wanted to share that with you. Is that what it takes? I have to win an award for my self-absorbed sons to notice I'm alive? Okay. You know what? Go. Don't go. I don't care. If you want to sit here and stew in the venom and bile that is the soup of your being, then fine. I hope you drown in it. Don't you ever talk to your mother this way. <laughs> Forget the party. I will just go back and tell all those people that the guest of honor could not be bothered to show up. Come on, Jay. Oh, dear Lord, Alan, wait. If this silly little party means that much to you, I'll go. Just let me get dressed. Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. <laughs> God, I hate being guilted into doing things. <laughs> And after all that, the loans, the bail, the kidney I gave her, which even though it wasn't mine, was still money out of pocket. Did she appreciate my sacrifices? I'm guessing no. She threw them away, chasing after men with drinking problems, men with gambling problems, men with wooden legs and glass eyes. You want to know why? Um, spare parts? Uh, low self-esteem. I remember when we were little girls, she had this crush on our cousin Jimmy. Well, he wasn't really our cousin. She Stop. More... Please, enough. If you won't talk to her, I will. Finally, I was running out of stories. <laughs> Daisy? Can I talk to you for a minute? Daisy is no longer inhabiting this earthly vessel. Excuse me? I am Oxy Quetzal, warrior priestess of the Aztec people. Okay. Let me ask you something. You know how to make those little hot dogs wrapped in pastry? Shh. Listen carefully. I have a message for Daisy. Really? She's wandered up the path. Okay. She must return. Now, there we have it. That's a U.S. military issue master lock. Um, regular master locks, I generally won't pick on camera anymore because they're sort of out of my skill set. They're, they're great to learn on, but once you get them, they're, they're pretty basic. Fairly uh, uh, poor tolerances and uh, generally cheap and, you know, like I said, good for learning on, but beyond that, not worth the time. But uh, this particular one is uh, a key retaining government uh, U.S. military issue. It has a dual uh, ball bearing uh, locking mechanism, which is kind of rare in uh, master locks. Um, this lock was given to me uh, by Ford from the Bay, um, one of the original old school uh, YouTube pickers that sort of helped get this whole ball rolling back in the day. So uh, yeah, there it is, the U.S. military master padlock laminated. So uh, peace as always, uh, rate it if you liked it. Um, don't break the law, and uh, I picked that with the uh, Klom number five, and you can uh, get these at uklockpickers.co.uk, and uh, check out keypicking.com as well if uh, you're interested in lockpicking and would like to learn more.
Until next time.